They tell us of a time when people lived in this wind-swept landscape, when now dry riverbeds were teeming with life, lush plant life, and bountiful crops. A thousand years ago, ancestral Puebloans thrived in this northern Arizona region known as Anasazi. These etchings, or rock art, were carved by a people who lived here long ago. And the petroglyphs are seemingly the last pieces of evidence that proclaim a civilization was once here. Mesa Community College students recently took part in field research here, funded by a grant from the National Science Foundation. The petrified forest and painted desert is an archaeological opportunity and offers some of nature's best magic. It means an incredible amount to get our students out, especially coming from the Phoenix metropolitan area. This stuff is just so old, and just the chance to be up there in front of it and see it, it's just, it's awesome. It's called Rock Art Stability Index, or RASI. It means that students get to leave their mark on meaningful archaeological research by recording the condition of the rock art, the symbols and characters inscribed in dozens of panels of sandstone. We look at weathering and erosion and how far, um, whether it's cracked, whether it looks like the rock art is in danger of being destroyed, or if it looks like it's going to stay around a while. I had never seen these petroglyphs before, and I guess not many people have seen them as well, so I'm glad I did. Serious archaeology students understand the value of hiking into remote locations, and participating in these kinds of programs. If I want to get a job with an archaeology firm, I need to have field experience. The four-day field trip provides the park with usable, reliable information. What the students study and record from the panels becomes a permanent record. We're here at this grouping of the three boulders that were just recorded. Each of the sites within this little valley are um, actually within line of sight. So the next group of students is actually up here. OK, it's a really nice one. It's number six. Armed with pencils and paper, they broke up into small groups to maximize their coverage, record as many glyphs as possible. Our hope what, by working through the Park Service at the, at the Petrified Forest is that other parks will see what we're doing and invite us in the future to other parks with or without the grant. Much of the excitement comes from knowing that what they contribute carries scientific value when they can see an end product, not just a grade or service learning hours, but see that they've actually contributed in some way to the field, I think it's just completely invaluable. Not all petroglyphs will survive. Time and weather will eventually take their toll. Students know that, but that understanding provides a certain pride that what they have accomplished on this trip has lasting meaning. The personal involvement they're going to have, these are experiences that they'll remember for a lifetime and hopefully uh, spark their interest in the field. You're looking for that moment when they see the value in this study and it's not just about getting their credits anymore. When pondering the idea that this region was once full of life, one becomes more and more captivated by the surroundings. The imagination takes over. And by documenting the condition of the petroglyphs, a real connection with what once was here is experienced. I'm Renee Blatte reporting for Maricopa Now.